Hey guys, welcome to Foam Test. Today's episode is going to be on winter. The terrible winter, it's very bad for flying, you know. You know about that already. So it's pretty much chuck glider and indoor flying season. Um, the best and easiest and cheapest way to have fun with planes in the winter is a chuck glider. They're easy to make, they fly pretty well, and they're just a lot of fun. But, maybe you don't have enough room for a chuck glider that big. Don't worry, there's smaller ones. See, this one is actually a penny plane, as I call it. Um, there will be a full episode coming out on this soon. But anyway, they're fun little planes to throw around and such. But what if you don't even have that much room? Maybe you live in a small apartment. And, well, I mean, actually, if you live in an apartment building, you probably throw those off the top balcony. Hint, hint, wink, wink, poke, poke. It's a lot of fun. The toothpick glider. The smallest plane that I know of for now. Works very well, um, if you throw it correctly. I did not throw that one very well at all, but that I said for now, as of me making this video. But poof, out of nowhere came something smaller. This, this my friends, is the staple plane. Many people may be asking, what staple plane? That's pretty cool, but does it fly? Yes. Yes, it does. But obviously you guys saw a toothpick glider. That's right, if you can't tell, that's where I took lots of the inspiration for. This plane. If you can't tell. Okay, so the story behind this. I sent some toothpick gliders and a few simple gliders flight test. And Stefan actually responded, said thanks for the, thanks for the uh, gliders. And he challenged me to build something bigger. Like this. So this is a barbecue skewer glider, which actually, if you throw it right, works quite well. Although, that one's wing's a little messed up because I threw it around too much. He challenged me to go bigger, but the purpose of the toothpick plane was to see how small a plane could go. So then I thought back, wait, what about the staple? So I responded, I'm just like, okay, I'll get to work on the barbecue skewer glider. And then, on top of it, I said, I'll also work on a staple plane too. I don't think I've got I don't think I've gotten a response back yet. Well, actually, let's see right now. Actually, Stefan did reply. Anytime, my friend. Good luck and shoot me a video or pics when you get finished. Blessings and happy flying, Ryan. Thanks. Thank you, Stefan. And speaking of pictures, let's take a few pictures and send them to him now. You know the funny thing about the staple glider is it wasn't actually my idea. This little tiny plane up here wasn't my idea. It's actually someone on Facebook's idea after Flight Test shared my article about this little fella here who isn't really that little anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was a joke or if they were being serious. They're just like, oh, can you make a staple glider? And it put the idea in my mind, but I didn't really act on it. So it kind of just sat in the back of my mind. He reminded me of that with that challenge. So I'm like, huh, maybe I'll make a smaller version too, along with a bigger version. Because I was also thinking in the back of my head, okay, a bigger version should be a little bit easier to build. Because this was designed on how small you could go, so building something bigger than it would be okay. But something smaller would be a real challenge. And I, I'm excited that I uh, completed the challenge that Stefan gave me. Granted, he pretty much sent me a picture of his and gave me material list to do it, so it's more of just assembling it. But this is what I'm really proud of out of this. And I, maybe not proud of, but more of surprise that it actually flies. And you know what the best part about this plane is? You could fly it anywhere. You could fly it in your basement. You could fly it in the hallway leading down to the basement if it doesn't hit the wall. In the kitchen, in this tiny little hallway, in a dark living room. And you know another good thing about it? My baby brother's over here are obsessed with little airplanes, and all he's worried about is my GoPro. He doesn't even see the plane. And then he won't scream when I take this away, because he won't even know it was there. It's a plane that you could literally fly just about anywhere. And if that isn't enough, it is... it might just be the world's smallest glider. Anyways guys, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys liked this quick edit. If you want to see more videos like this right, and right when I design something, just a quick little video on it that doesn't require much editing at all. Um, just let me get, let you know in the comments. Probably put a full video on this 
I'm not sure whether I should call it a review or not, but I'll put a full video out on this in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Um, if you like this play and like the video, obviously leave a like. And if you want to see more future episodes on this, hit that subscribe button. Not only that, but if you think this is the world's smallest glider, hit, hit both of those buttons if you think this is the world's smallest. Anyways, this is Foam Test, and I'll see you guys next time.